hello guys and welcome to my channel it's a girl helen so guys in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i schedule my time during the school block session before i continue if you haven't subscribed to my channel can you please subscribe hit the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for subscribing thank you for returning to and uh please make sure to hit the like button and drop a comment after watching this video so um before I continue, as scheduling your time during the hospital can be a bit challenging. One, because your time is not fixed. And two, because your school, you have school and you have practice. So it can be a bit confusing and it can be challenging, really. Now, a lot of people think that this hospital is not challenging, but believe me, it is. As time goes on, you're going to find it a bit challenging because you have so many information that you need to process, that you need to holding into your head and you need to study for the exam so uh if you're wondering why my video or my recent video have been looking the way they are looking like they're not bright enough well the weather has been a bit uh the weather has changed uh we're in herbs which is a uh, autumn and the video uh the, the sun tends to go down so quickly and sometimes i don't really get to make videos so early that early which i'm going to work on so I am going to make a different video where I'm going to talk about the practice, how, my, how I schedule my time in during the practice, my study time during the practice. So during the school block, which is a theory time, my time starts, uh, I go to school from Monday to Friday. And my time starts from 8.15, school starts from 8.15 to 15.45. And uh, I close and getting home takes me about an hour or 45 minutes. And by the time you get home, it's almost five o'clock so what i do is that when i get home i try to do whatever i have to do like shower take a shower uh chill up on netflix or go to youtube instagram facebook anything i want to do also get ready for the get the food ready for the next day my lunch and my breakfast ready for the next day so these are what i do between 17 o'clock and 20 o'clock <laughs> So uh, at 20, my alarm goes off, which means study time. So my phone, I have this setting on my phone, which has concentration modes and personal timing, which means if I, have, if I want to have personal time, I have to set it. And if I have uh, study time or work time, I, I set it too. So I disable, it disables all the apps on my phone. I don't get messages or any kind of distraction. So between 20 o'clock to uh, 22, 22 o'clock, I study anything, anything I want to study. And sometimes I actually, at, actually at 22 o'clock, my alarm goes off again, which means bedtime. But sometimes I try to, I, over, I overstay, like I get to 11 o'clock, especially if what I'm studying is interesting or I'm in this mood. Sometimes I'm just in a mood like study. And sometimes you're just, where well, I'm just making my, forcing myself to go from just to, you know, survive, to be able to survive the, 8, yeah, 8 p.m. Uh, yeah, the 20, 20 o'clock to uh, 22 o'clock time. So on days where I'm yeah, like really in the mood to study, I exceed the time, I exceed 22 o'clock, depending on what I have to study too, if it's too much. And it's also school work, I have to exceed the time I gave to myself. So, and uh, at 11 o'clock, uh, at, sorry, at, yeah, 11 o'clock p.m., which is the same as, uh, 23 o'clock I go to bed or 22 o'clock depending so and this time this helps me to be able to um, to be able to at least learn one or two things during the practice during the school theory so and like I said the time between 14 between 17 o'clock and 20 o'clock is the time for me to wind down unwind from every all the information I've, I have uh, acquired from the school it lets me just wind down and chill out so this is basically how I do it and then I wake up the next day refreshed go to school again Monday to Friday so and if I I, I started this this method I started this method during my first year uh, yeah I done my first year when I started and that was like about that I, I guess what happened my life just went off so about so like I was saying about three months, three months after that, which was uh, before the praxis time, first praxis, I kind of stopped because I couldn't really 
juggle between practice and school time, like schedule my time properly. So I stopped. But now that the exam is around the corner, I have to sit up and I have to start studying now. Even though some might think it's too early, but I have to start studying now, plan myself properly. So I don't end up being in a rush or being in the state where I feel like I haven't had enough, I haven't studied, learned enough or studied enough. Even now, I still have that feeling. Even though the exam is like in a year. <laughs> so, and the earlier the better, yeah? The, how the English word says, make it while the sun shines. So I guess that's what I'm doing right now. And I think it will be better if one does it. That's the best solution to all this. Do if you're in the hospital, I would advise you to start in the first from your first year. If you're in your second year, if you haven't started and you're in your second year watching this video, please start now. It helps a lot. Okay, start planning your time. I'm gonna share a video, another video, separate video, just to make it short, where I share how I schedule my time during the prax uh, during yeah during the praxis, which is the practical aspect of the hospital. Okay, guys, this is all about it. I I am going to see you in my next video, and please make sure to subscribe. I mean, I hope you like this video enough to give it a thumbs up too, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.